you have a big bust size and you've always wondered how to wear an off shoulder or a backless, a plunge neckline or your normal everyday bras if you're still struggling to find the right one or of any of these things, this video is for you. Hello everyone, this is Kushpa Singhvi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am honestly very very excited to share this video today because almost all my life I've struggled to find the right bras. It's just few years, I can say 7, 8, 10 years maybe that I am you know wearing a right bra size but otherwise we many of us uh, while growing up if you had a big bust you must have struggled to find the right bra because every shop you would walk into at least at those times there were just shops selling bras they would just have you know two standard size normally 32 and 34 and they expected everyone to fit into it of course later on 36 came in cup size were not even existing at that time i think at least not in india i'm talking like 20 years back and yeah we most of us in that time have grown up wearing the wrong bra but of course things have changed now uh, it's quite size inclusive in india as well now we, we can get like big sizes pretty easily now and also a lot of cup sizes are there of course i will not still call it inclusive for everyone we can still get better but i guess we are reaching there and i don't feel that today you have a reason to wear a wrong bra or to not wear what you wish to wear because we have so many choices now so yes this video is gonna cover all of this and i'm hoping it's gonna be super helpful for you because every single time on instagram if i put a picture in off shoulder i have got this question asked at which bra i'm wearing or which is a good strapless bra or other questions so yeah i'm really really hoping this video is going to be super helpful for you all to quickly give you an idea in this video i'll be sharing about everyday bras and how to select the right bra for you I will be sharing about strapless bras and few hacks that works like magic. I will be sharing how you can wear a plunge neckline or a backless about boob tapes. I'm in fact wearing boob tape right now for this dress as well. So this is what I'm going to more or less share in today's video. If there is anything else that you want me to share, definitely put it in the comments and I'm going to make another video for that. A lot of you have also asked me about active wear, sports wear. I'm going to make a separate video for that because it would have been too much today. So yeah, if anything else that you need, please put it in the comments. And if you do find this video helpful, please do subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your friends who you think will need this video. Now let's start with the everyday wear first. Honestly, there are so many choices in the Indian market now that I don't think it's a struggle for most people. But in case you're still struggling, I probably feel uh, you are not wearing a right size. So I still know a lot of people who do not know their size. See, it's not like you measure with a measuring tape and whatever comes is your size. It's not like that. So there are two things which you have to measure when you're buying a bra, under bust and over bust. At least the basic bra works like this. This is what you should check. So basically under bust is the area where your bra sits. Over bust is the area which is the fullest area of your bust. So you have to measure both of these and then go to the brand's website and check the chart. For example, this one is from Amante and this is showing you the under bust as your band size and the over bust as your cup size. So you can select according. Now some other brands might have a chart like this so you can calculate calculate your cup size accordingly. Now this is just to give you a basic idea. There are few more things but I do not wish to complicate this. To start with, I feel this will be enough. So please refer to the charts on all the websites that you are buying from. So now see, for everyday bras, uh, I won't go into a lot of depth. I will share my favorites with you uh, and I'll link them down below so you can check it out. I'll just tell you the basics and then we'll move ahead. So the brands which I use a lot for everyday is Jockey, Enamor, uh, Amante, uh, now recently Naked by Nika. Uh, Zivame, okay now i'll tell you the basic things i look for my everyday bra it should be a full coverage bra because i have heavy bust so i don't like you know which is half coverage or even three-fourth coverage for that matter i always go for full coverage bras because i need you know it should at least have three hooks behind because that gives you a better hold it doesn't tug on your body then i like them to be broad on the side so that if any side fat is there you know that is covered nicely it's those are much more comfortable now let me tell you these are not the most flattering looking bras when you look at the bra but the fitting is definitely going to be the most flattering so yeah that is more important for me another thing i don't like is now, like i go for t-shirt bras kind of a thing like i don't like if the cup is not plain for me it's important that the cup is like this plain there is no stitch on the cup uh, you know there is nothing on the cup because i can wear it easily in whatever i'm wearing and also I, my bra should have a double lining so that your tits and all is not visible okay sometimes though it is visible in white clothes and all but yeah and also my everyday bras should be cotton that's very important for me i don't like to wear synthetic or uncomfortable fabric because i live in goa it's damn hot here and on everyday basis i would prefer a cotton bra for my everyday wear i personally do not prefer to wear wired bras or padded bras now this is a personal preference i'm not saying it should be like this for everyone but i don't feel comfortable in wired ones i do have a few i just do not like them and i have one from marks and spencers i have another one i have two three actually i've tried those i don't feel comfortable in them and padded 
padded bras again some people like it like you know even if you have big bust a thin padded bra works great for some people but again i don't like it so this is a personal preference and you can choose accordingly what you like i will just tell you the ones i wear and i love because for me comfort comes first i'm okay if my bra is not looking very fancy for an everyday wear but it's important for me that it's comfortable so everyone's choice can be different so i do understand that so please choose accordingly all right so first i'll start with the most basic ones uh, now at home a lot of people don't like to wear a bra but maybe you know you're living in a joint family or you're living with people that you feel more comfortable wearing a bra so this is for those people i have two three of these like you know a bra like this this is from naked by maika this is more like a slip uh, but like a bra you know it's a it's it's in between the two so i have another one like this this is also from naked by maika i have another one from jockey i can't find it right now it's probably is in laundry so these bras are very very comfortable you just feel you're wearing a short slip it doesn't give you the best hold but it's not bad it's great to wear at home i personally feel the only drawback is even in jockey and even in naked by naika they only go up to a size 2 xl so if your bust size is say over bust when you measure if it's coming to around 42 to 44 and under bust is coming to around uh, 35 36 you can check it on the website then only it's going to fit you if your size is bigger than that uh, these might not fit you and i haven't seen these in many brands so in case you have please uh, share in the comments so other people know i'll move to the next bra which i have from enamor and naked by naika one is from naked by naika but i have same one from enamor also a lot you can see the side stitch i really look for this one because this gives a very good fitting and you see the cup is plain this is what i was talking about it should also have Have, you know a broad side it should not be very thin here on the side because then the fitting looks very good you know your side fat will be visible if it's broad like this your side fat will not be visible and you can see it's got three hooks behind so this is what i basically look for when i'm trying a bra now see this one is from amante if you'll see here like right here now this has got a little uh, stiff thing so what what it does is when you're wearing the bra your sides also will remain very firm if you have any side fat or something it will not let it peek in now this is not very very comfortable however it's not uncomfortable also so yeah it works great you can see even this one have this whole side thing going and it's you know then there is no stitching on the cup So yeah, these are my preferred uh, bras. These are the type of bras I wear at home or you know on my in my everyday life, and I'm wearing normal clothes. This gives you an amazing fitting. I also have these V shaped bras, like you know the V neck kind of thing in front. I keep these because uh, as I told you, I always like to wear full coverage bras. So sometimes when you're wearing a little deeper neck, uh, the full coverage bra might just show up a little, or it's not going to give you the most flattering look. So for that, I keep these as well. Now this one I think is from Zivami. I have another one from Enamor as well. I'll link both of them uh, in the description for you to check it out. so these are very helpful whenever you are wearing you know a little deeper neck anything t-shirt dress or whatever you are wearing i do feel it's important to you know have all kind of bras in your wardrobe because according to what you are wearing you can then decide okay so these were my everyday bras i have a lot of them so i'm not gonna like you know show you all the video will be too long but more or less to give you an idea these are the ones i wear i will definitely link on my favorites in the description so you can check them out so what i majorly shared here is more like t-shirt bras but of course there are a lot of bras like push up bras minimizer bras a full coverage a three fourth coverage and different varieties so in case you want me to make a more detailed video on all of these to let me know but now let's move on to everyone's most favorite question the correct or the right strapless bra now honestly speaking in spite of having so many brands so many bras for heavy bust people strapless bra is still a problem it is i have tried so many of them by now that i don't know i wasted too much of money Uh, on all of these but you really don't have a choice so i have struggled a lot in finding the right bra can i say that i have the perfect strapless bra that i just wear it and i can flaunt it no but i've worked around on how i can use a strapless bra very very comfortably and i'm going to share that with you now honestly Uh, if you live in a big city where the showrooms and shops actually have all these big sizes it is the best is to go go there try it out and then decide for yourself if you do not live in a big city you can always order them online because almost all of them take it back so if you do not if it's not fitting you well just return it back that's the best you know i have tried uh, the strapless bras from max and spencer enamor uh, triumph clovia uh, naked by naika recently and uh, yeah most of them did not work for me the one that works for me the most is enamor and the naked by naika was actually very very similar to the one i have from enamor so i returned it back because honestly i didn't find a difference in both of them so since i already had the enamor one i'm talking about this bra this is one of the most uh, commonly find bra online when you go for strap this shopping so if you see it has these two bells on the inside like this it looks from the outside so this helps you know in holding it 
better and giving you a better shape in fact i had another one from enamort before this one that was amazing i used to love it but they discontinued it and that used that for almost i think 10 years it was such a nice bra it, and it, it wasn't a padded one that was my most favorite part of that somehow i don't like padded bras it's just a personal choice but anyway so uh this is the one i'm using right now not any really different for everyone okay i've seen people loving marks and spencer more than enamort i personally love enamort more than marks and spencer and vice versa so obviously you'll find different people liking different bras so order and see what works for you whichever is working the best closest for you order that strapless bra now let me tell you how to select the correct strapless bra for yourself so when you are buying a strapless bra go for your correct cup size it is very very important the cup size should be exactly your size do not go for a bigger one or a smaller one but when you're selecting the under bust area right suppose if your under bust is coming to 34 or 35 and the bra which is coinciding with that under bust size is say whatever 38 or whatever it is correct just go one size smaller if 38 is your correct size when you measure it go for 36 what happens with that is if your under bust is a little smaller when you wear the bra it's going to hold you tighter and this is very important for a strapless bra so this hack works like magic just try it out and you will see the difference okay it's so easy to order things online now so try that out now honestly this is not the most comfortable option obviously and i feel strapless bra for heavy bust people is anyway not the most comfortable option but this will give you a much better fitting and you will feel much more confident in wearing that strapless bra now in case you've tried a correct size you've tried a smaller size still it's not working for you I have another hack for you which you can dance in, you can jump in, you can do whatever and you don't have to worry. What you have to do is wear the best fitting, you know, the best closest fitting strapless bra that you can find and then order this. This uh, Just get yourself this. Oh my god, this works like magic. Wear this over your strapless bra. Now this one is from Jockey. I could not really find a lot of brands um, having this. I've been using this for more than a year now. This comes with these cups inside which I've removed because you don't need these because your strapless bra will already have cups and it will get too much. So just And they are removable. Okay, So just remove the cups and wear this over your strapless bra. And I'm telling you it's gonna work like magic. You'll not believe you'll get the best fitting. They will remain so firm and you know you can do whatever and you have no fear of your boobs popping out of your bra all right the only problem with this is it comes only till a size 2 xl okay so uh, obviously if it's only coming till size 2 xl it's not gonna fit for all but if your over bust is around say 42 to 44 this will still fit you so you can definitely try it out it will be more comfortable for people with 40 to 42 but up to 44 it's fine now uh, these tube tops come in a lot of local brands as well so before i found this on jockey i like this more because this kind of gives a little shape to your boobs you know this has this whole place here it's not just like a plain tube like this okay uh, but you do get a lot of plain tube tops like this in the local markets so if this is not fitting you well or if you cannot find any alternative to this if i can find i'll definitely put it in the description but if you cannot so this is what i used to do earlier i had a normal tube top okay like this so just get it a little smaller in size don't get the very stretchy one or something which is you know very comfortable for you a little which is a slight little tight for you because that's going to hold you better right so just get that from a local market or if you can find it on amazon in case this is not fitting for you and trust me you're going to love this hack thank me later for this one now this hack is something I had seen online almost 2-3 years back, some uh, blogger, she was not an Indian blogger uh, doing this. I'm really uh, feeling bad that I don't remember her name. I would have loved to give her credits for this because this is one of the most wonderful hack I have learned. And this is what she, she's also, a, uh, she is a plus size YouTuber and I just cannot remember her name. If I can, I'll link her uh, channel or something in my description. But I'm so thankful to her because this really works like magic. Okay, now even if this is not working for you or you are not comfortable, you're still getting scared to wear a strapless bra, but you would love those options shoulder tops so i'll give you a third alternative buy yourself some fancy straps like this one you even get these in rhinestones you get this in pearls you, you can whatever you want all right just buy these and they look pretty nice when you wear it uh, so if you're still not comfortable just wear these straps instead of the normal transparent straps because honestly i don't like the transparent strap feeling it just looks really bad so i would prefer if it has something over it correct so definitely try this out this is also going to work like magic. Now I have this one, this silver one, and this also looks pretty nice depending on what you're wearing. But sometimes if you're wearing a formal gown or something like that, you can get the rhinestone one. I'll link it in the description, but it, they are quite expensive, okay? So I have a quick DIY for you. Now see, you all have these transparent straps with you, correct? So just get these rhinestone stickers or pearl stickers and stick it over your strap. And this looks so nice, okay? This is so damn reasonable. I bought these pearl stickers from Amazon and I've just uh, put them on my strapless bra. And then once put it and you have these beautiful 
beautiful brass tabs. Uh, I've done this with pearl. The next I'm gonna do is with rhinestones because I really love this idea. So I thought I'll definitely share it with you. So yeah. Okay guys, here goes the last and the fourth hack on Daisy or Lazy and your off shoulder half sleeves. Just take a bra strap and put it down. That's it. Alright, and then you can take a fashion tape and just stick it on your t-shirt and to your skin so that it doesn't move and it remains there. And this really works alright. But I wouldn't say try this when you have to dance a lot or things like that. But on a normal day, if you just want to, this definitely works. You can definitely do this. And these were the three best ways of wearing your off shoulder clothes. I'm really hoping that this helped you. Now coming to boob tapes. Uh, this is something a lot of people are scared to try honestly even i thought it's never going to work and I, who should use boob tapes it's great when you want to wear a neckline like this now this is not something that you wear every day right or you want to wear an absolute backless you know dress which you have to wear a strappy backless dress i will be very very honest i thought it's never gonna work for me because you know i have a big bust and i just cannot imagine in my head that boob tapes would work for me so i was very skeptical before ordering but because you know nowadays you see so much on social media and then you start thinking okay maybe it's gonna work because i saw a lot of people with a big bus size using boob tapes and i'm like okay maybe i should try them so i did order one and i actually ordered one of the cheapest one from amazon i wouldn't call it the cheapest one but the cheapest one with the best reviews is what i went for because boob tapes were really expensive if you go for a good branded one they're like 2000 rupees or something and they're not reusable okay these are just use and throw kind of thing so i did not want to invest a lot of money into something which i wasn't sure will work for me or not but surprisingly they just work and they work so well this was honestly not expected uh first let me show you what boot tip i have so this is the one that i have i ordered this from amazon and this was under rupees 300 exact price i don't know i'm gonna link it here and it comes something like this inside now this is a narrow one you also get broad ones but those were expensive and as i said i didn't want to invest a lot of money so i bought this Boob tapes work amazing. They give you such a good shape that no bra can if you use them the correct way. And they remain put. You can dance in this. You can do whatever. Nothing happens. These are also sweat resistant. I don't know. These are just too good. I did not expect it to be like this. I'll be very, very honest. But my only problem is they are still not the most comfortable thing. Because to wear, it takes a lot of time. Secondly, how to wear them, you will end up wasting quite a lot of tape. First, to learn how to wear it correctly. Especially, you know, when you have a big uh bust because what happens is like when you these are narrow right maybe the broader ones will be a little more convenient to use you apply to one place and your fat is coming off some other place correct so it's like you have to apply quite a lot so this one roll which is five meters not gonna last you more than three times but it works okay so what i would recommend is get a cheaper one first like this one try it see how it's working for you if it is working for you keep up with this because this is not something i want to use every day okay unless you're into some big events or you know you have a lot of these events where you have to go and you wear such necklines uh, and these are not working for you, you can definitely try the expensive options. Uh, but I would definitely say that if you're wearing it for some important event, definitely get this home first. Try it out at home, you know, before you just wear it out because you will take a few trials to understand how to wear it correctly. There is all the information online, all the brands have, you know, these ways on how to wear it. They have all the patterns given. So according to your neckline, decide how you want to wear it, uh, how much you want to use. I would recommend use enough because if you have big bust, do not use less. Like use enough because you do not want to take a risk, all right? So there should be enough tape under and then when you pull it, there should be enough tape on top as well, all right? So... It's, in my opinion, it's very, very important that you use it enough. So what I do is, I'll just tell you quickly, if you are trying it for the first time, I normally cut around four to five uh, boxes of this one. Now, this is very stretchable, okay? So it will get long when you use it. But normally for me, four is enough. Sometimes I go ahead with five, depending on the design's pattern or whatever I'm choosing. Okay, cut it off. Do not remove this first. Just remove it from down. Stick it. Suppose you're wearing from down to up, right? So stick it down nicely and firm. And then slowly remove this the sticker and then pull it and you know wear it here okay so this is how you have to wear it if you remove the whole sticker first it's going to be very difficult and it's going to be a mess so do not do that so even right now i'm you know uh, wearing the boot tape here as you can see so yeah this is damn helpful however not the most comfortable thing to do because what happens is normally you'll wear it for a big event right so when you're going out you have to take care of your hair especially if you have curly hair then your makeup and you know i suck at makeup i'm still learning i'm so bad at it so that's already a lot of stress for me and then doing this as well it gets very overwhelming for me i'm talking about myself it might be different for you uh, so definitely try this out before you're using i don't think i'm going to use this a lot i will only use it when it's absolute necessity but I still feel it is a great choice. Honestly, this is going to surprise you. Trust me. So I will say definitely try it out. Also guys, never ever wear your boob tapes without these nipple pasties. Now these come along with the boob tape I've ordered. If yours is not coming, please order these. These are reusable. You can just remove this plastic film, use this and put it back. It has a very light glue kind of thing which doesn't get stuck or anything but it just remains at place. And yeah, definitely use these. And along with boob tapes, let me share about one more important thing. Uh, these fashion tapes. Okay, so the one I'm using is from... 
sun cream the brand is the one that i just ordered randomly from amazon this had decent reviews and it was very reasonable i don't remember the price i'll put it here okay so these comes up these are like you know packet of 36 around and i've used quite a few of these now why are these useful i'll tell you so suppose if you're wearing you know deep necks or something like this what i'm wearing right now i am using two tips here these are uh, you know stuck here so that this doesn't lift off even if you pull you bend you do whatever it's not going to get lifted so if you're wearing any neck you know when that you bend over and you do not want it to fall you can definitely use these tapes all right uh, these are very very nice very easy to use so this have an adhesive so this is like a transparent tape okay these white stickers on both the sides and it's a transparent tape so this also remove peel from one uh, stick it once it's done then you remove from the upper side and uh, put your fabric over it okay this is how you do for a lot of things even for my belts you know when you wear these uh fancy belts especially on your gowns or whatever the end part is sometimes hanging because they don't have a place to put them in so i just put this in the end and i put the belt over it because it's transparent it's not even visible uh, so i use it for a couple of things and it's very very helpful especially for your deep necks i definitely recommend wearing this now if you're wearing something like this you know the synthetic material uh, it's always safe to put two of these so i've like put one here and another one here so you know it remains more firm doesn't come off and definitely Definitely recommend having these these are damn useful so yeah guys that is it for this video i'm really hoping it was helpful for you all i'm hoping you all learned something from this and whatever you want to see more do let me know in the comments i will be more than happy to share it with you all